y'all know I always vlog. We got another trip. We're headed to camp. And as requested, Instagram said they wanted to see why it's called Beast Factory. So I'm gonna try my best to document everything. I'll see if my coach is willing to record some bits and pieces. I'm at the airport. TSA gave me the most worst anxiety fucking ever because my mom wants to send a black cake and of course they see this foil thing and they're probably thinking this bitch bringing drugs but here we are had to get I had to unwrap all the fucking cakes and everything I'm sweating I'm still sweating like my anxiety is ridiculous right now ridiculous I made it to my gate I did not rent a car yet I'm gonna try to do that on the flight I hope I'm not sweating through my pants plus I'm wearing freaking peach pants and I gotta pee oh, man Down in the A, waiting for this little trolley. For those who haven't been to Atlanta, you gotta take the little trolley to connect to the terminal. Baggage so, train. I'm starving. I'm starving. <sighs> so hungry. I sweated a whole flight. Like I'm hot as hell. Hot. This shirt I'm wearing under here is probably wet. All right, rental secured. It took me a while, but oh, this is cute. Okay, um, you know, I got in really late last night. I know. <laughs> I didn't get to the house till like one. All right, so today's the first day of camp. We want to camp, y'all. We y'all.
Okay, so I just got my nails done. I took a little clip of inside the nail salon. It's so nice. Oh, and Publix is right next door, next door to the beauty salon store. Okay, great. Okay, you guys. So you probably can't see me because it's so dark in the car, but it is part two of camp. So I'm headed right now back to the gym. Um, I didn't really record the, re the remaining part of my day because it was just really hectic. I was done having a freaking anxiety attack. I had a whole meltdown. So we're going to go work out. And yeah. And then after, I'm trying to get something to eat. Like, I'm trying to eat. Hopefully, there's a sushi spot still open. <laughs> My body feels like <laughs> turn left on high point road it hurts to laugh it hurts to like my shoulders is fried and today we do legs so 
Uh, oh, so to answer like a couple questions that I did get about and my coach. That the roundabout continues straight. So where's my coach located? Right. So my coach is located in Atlanta, Georgia. How long I've been working with him? I've been working with him for the past four months. So I've been working with him October, November, December, January. Yeah, in the past four months. Or you could say five months because September was when I first like spoke to him about everything. Um, do I enjoy being my coach? Yes. Like, my new coach, he be on our asses. Like, it's like, you want first call outs or second call outs? You choose. So, it just keeps the momentum for us to just keep fucking going. Like, so, I am staying in Snellville. And Snellville is about, like, 40 minutes from like the city Continue where my straight. coach is then turn right on us 78 west so it's a little bit of a drive but honestly this is nothing to me because it's like if i was driving to bev's every day because bev's is about 45 minutes from my house in new york in 600 feet and turn right on us i do that drive west. faithfully and it doesn't bother me and honestly in my opinion if you just want some shit you want something, you gotta go get it your damn Turn self. right on US 78 West. Say you my nigga, I'm be your killer. to get some footage. Uh, I'm gonna 
I recorded it, of course. I recorded it, you know, bits and pieces. And I'm, of course, compose everything together. This YouTube video is about to be real epic. Um, I'm headed to breakfast right now with my teammate. Um, with my, she's like, she actually helped me out a lot for my Texas show. Literally did my tan, helped me stay calm. Like, the good, a good sis for real, okay? So, we are going to Cracker Barrel. I'm not the biggest fan, and maybe it's because the Cracker Barrel that I did have was just bad. I don't know. Um, but, I'm going to give it a try again. We're going to see. But, based off the clips, you guys already see what it is to be a part of Beast Factory. What's the expectations? What's the standard? What's the tone? Um, this, is, this is it. This is it. Like, the standard is set. It's like how they set the standard for Olympia. He sets the standard for his athletes and what he expects of us. And um, a lot of us, and this is what he was saying, you know, on our own, we're not training as intense as we should. Um, myself included, like, I'm guilty for that. Like, I don't really, sometimes I don't push myself or I give myself a much longer break than actually needed. So this weekend, I needed to come here to just learn and adapt and know, like, all right, bitch, this is how you need to be training all the time. Waiting for my tea. I am so tired, y'all. So tired. I'm definitely taking it up. Because. my body set up mm. y'all heard that crack that was my knee so i am taking myself out to dinner because bitch i deserve that shit how the fuck do you even get in this place oh employee entrance only so i'm gonna eat i like this you know, treating myself, taking myself out to eat. This says exit only. How the fuck do I get into Red Lobster? Why do they have so many entrances? Like, this shit is giving me anxiety. I should have just went to Zaxby's. Why does this say exit only too? Oh my gosh. This is kind of embarrassing. Because I can't find the entrance. Maybe it's not meant for me to eat this. Maybe I should just fucking get back in the car. I'm just gonna get back in the car. Yeah. Mind you, I took a stress pill. I took two. Just, I'm just gonna get back in the car. So the car froze with ice. All of this is ice. So let's see if I can like defrost this so I can be on my way. All right, y'all. So day three it is probably the last, the last day of camp. And early to all my cardio. I'm sure it's gonna Cardio gotta get done.
right, so that completes day three of camp. I really didn't record um, a lot of stuff. Y'all gonna see me. Can't put something serious.